Great. Stage is yours, man. Well, uh, th thank you, Roberto. So uh, as Roberto said, I'm Jerry Kidley. I, I am general partner of Healthware Labs. Uh, and with Healthware Labs, we uh, work on all the digital health and digital innovation uh, projects for, for healthware and for our clients, of course. Uh, there is one thing that we have been focusing on uh, quite intently over the last year, uh, pre-COVID, let's say, uh, which is the um, really how digital technologies, uh, especially the ones that are patient-facing, can be a little bit cold sometimes. And uh, we've been really concentrating on, on a concept of, uh, of empathy and how do we drive empathy using digital tools. I mean, it could seem like these two things don't go together. And after doing a bit of research and a little, little bit of experimenting, uh, we, we really come to realize that this is actually eminently doable through a number of different techniques uh, that they were calling empathy constructs. I, I will not talk about uh, these particular techniques right now, but really the point is this. Uh, now more than ever, we see that connection between people is essential. And, and the, the social distancing that we've all had to live through has sort of brought technology to the forefront and also in how technology is actually bringing people closer together. At some point, people were very self-absorbed into their own devices, but now they're really seeking out technology to maintain relationships. Uh, the, the flip side of, of the situation is really, uh, and we've heard it several times throughout today, is the toll that this current situation is placing on, on people's lives. It's creating a lot of stress, not only for the frontline workers, of course, who are uh, putting literally their lives on the line, uh, but also for families, for children, for people uh, that have had to essentially be separated from, from the rest of the world for, for weeks at a time. And uh, some of the figures are a bit concerning, quite honestly. Uh, it's estimated, uh, even here in Italy, where I'm talking to you from right now, that about 30 to 40 percent of the people are probably suffering some type of, of mental health stress because of the situation. And now that things are starting to reopen, we will probably see um, even how social norms and the way that people interact is going to change, right? So really what, uh, what we're seeing then is that the time is absolutely right uh, to be able to use some of the technologies that are out there uh, to be able to address this deluge of people that are seeking comfort from anxiety, from stress, from depression, and from a whole other host of issues that accompany the situation. 